And welcome back to Midco Sports Network Spring Football Report. I'm Jay Elson. On the heels of one of the most frustrating seasons in school history, the University of South Dakota football program has wiped the slate clean. USD is rebuilding from within, and it started with a renewed commitment. In response to a challenge from strength and conditioning coach Jevin Bowman, the Coyotes adopted a new team motto prior to their first winter workout, and they've been living it ever since. We made bands for them. It says uh, Band of Brothers committed 2013 on it. Um, it's actually part of their lifting uniform. As you can tell, we all look alike. Um, we're one big family. We work as work in one. We work in unison. On one heartbeat, one step at a time. Will this new mentality translate on the scoreboard? That's where it matters most to a team that finished 1-10 in 2012. Remember, the key number for the Coyotes last season was three. USD lost four games, all of them in the Missouri Valley, by a field goal. USD does have some holes to fill. The Coyotes were ninth in the Missouri Valley in total offense last year. And if they want to improve upon that, they will have to find a way to replace a couple of their top playmakers. Will Powell, a second team all MBFC selection, finishes the Coyotes all time leader in touchdown receptions. He's gone, as is last year's leading rusher, Marcus Sims, who averaged nearly five yards per carry. The good news is almost everyone else on the offensive side is coming back, and that list starts with quarterback Josh Vandermotten. JVM was up and down in his first season as the Coyotes' signal caller, but the junior to be feels like the experience has served him well. The comfortability level is up, and that, that is huge. Just being comfortable as a quarterback is all you can ask for, and a year under your belt definitely helps with that. Josh is a terrific player, and he has learned a lot by having played a year, um, he's decision making, I think, has improved immensely throughout our spring. He makes decisions quicker. I think things are all coming to him a little bit easier right now. One of Vanderbotten's primary targets will be Terrence Terry. He had a solid sophomore season, finishing second on the team in catches and receiving yards. That makes him the leading candidate to replace Powell as the team's go to receiver. Vanderbotten will be aided by some better protection up front. The Coyotes were plagued by injuries and inexperience on the offensive line last season, but with five potential starters returning, all of whom have better birthdays, expectations are on the rise. That's going to be a better part of our game. You, you really pay for the experience, um, and you can't just keep replacing the guys every year. They've got to graduate sooner or later, so um, we just happen to have four new guys come into the to the lineup last year and uh, it, it, it cost us. I'm counting on us being bigger and stronger and more powerful um, and maybe a play or two different or we can take advantage of their power and get downhill a little bit and help them out. On the defensive side, the biggest hole is at middle linebacker. The Coyotes lost both Tim Marlette and Darius Hogans, who combined for over 150 tackles at 11 and a half tackles for loss last season. A number of guys will be competing for those spots, but one player that appears to have an early inside track is Kyle Staples. The 6'1", 225-pounder is one of the prizes of the 2013 recruiting class. He transferred into the program from Fresno City College in California. We played some really good alignment and really good offenses, and we got a lot of guys going D1, you know, Pac-10, a lot of really good offensive players, and uh, I'm pretty confident that I can come in here and hold my ground and do, uh, do what is asked for me from the coaches. I love what I'm seeing in spring football practice, I'll tell you that. He's shown the toughness and the speed and the quickness to play at this level, um, and he'll just get better with reps. One thing we know for certain is that Staples will be playing alongside Tyler Starr, the senior from Little Rock, Iowa, who has 18 sacks and nine forced fumbles in his career, continues to be among the most highly regarded linebackers in the FCS. The Coyotes are also hoping for big things from the secondary. Quarterback Dylan Knox, along with safeties Aaron Swift and Devin Taverna, were among the most improved in spring practice. Bringing that forward all starts like it was in spring and continue on through the offseason and keeping each other, pushing each other, keeping them going, not taking any days off, whether it's in the weight room or playbooks, whatever it is, and just keep it going and staying together as kind of our own little secondary family behind the whole Coyote family. Uh, USD had 14 practices and two scrimmages before wrapping up the spring season on Saturday, April 20th with the annual spring game. No bragging rights to be had. However, the offense tied the defense at 28 apiece. 
One other Coyote football note, the 2013 schedule has been released. It features a challenging mix of non-conference and Missouri Valley games, of course, but that's not what stands out to Joe Glenn. I think the neatest part of our schedule is the fact that um, for the first time, we're going to play six games here in the Dome. Uh, we played four here last year, and uh, you deserve to play at home when you're the home team. So that's sensational. Uh, and we understand, you know, the reasons we were uh, on the road and know some of those things. But n make sure you know that the kids will defend the Dome, and it'll be nice to be here with another year under our belt. <laughs> Now the Coyotes and everyone else are trying to reach the bar set by two-time defending FCS national champion North Dakota State. Jason Andera will have more on the Bison when we come back.